Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Worsh Lead. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to play the song Whom Shall I Fear by Chris Tomlin. Stay tuned. All right guys, so Whom Shall I Fear by Chris Tomlin is originally in the key of C. The tempo is 74 beats per minute and the time signature is 4-4. And for today's lesson, I'm only gonna be showing you guys one way how to play it and that way does not require the use of a capo. But if you are interested in purchasing a capo, check out the links down below in the description box and you can buy one that's best for you. And since this song is in the key of C, I will be showing you what chords to play within the key of C. But before I do, I wanna show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern that we'll use for for today will remain consistent throughout the whole song and with each section of the song. Meaning that for the sections like the intro, verse, and chorus and bridge, we will be using the same strumming pattern. The strumming pattern that we'll use for today will go something like this. That strumming pattern again will be And what I'll do with the strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. If you struggle with a strumming pattern, no worries. Just keep trying your best, keep coming back to the video if you have to, and you'll get it. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you what chords we'll be playing within the key of C. So within the key of C, we'll be playing a total of four chords, and those chords will be as followed. It's going to be a C major chord. Also a G major. We'll also be playing A minor. and then also F major. So to start off Whom Shall I Fear, we can start off with the intro, and for the intro we'll only be playing two chords, which will be the C major, and then also F. We'll play those two chords once for the intro. The intro will go something like this. So then right after the intro, we can go into the verse. The verse is split up into two different parts. So verse one and verse two, we'll be playing the following chord progression for the verse. So it's going to be a C to an F to A minor and then F. And we'll be playing that chord progression a total of two times for the verse. And just to clarify, we'll play that chord progression one time for verse one and then one time for verse two. So verse one will go something like this. You hear me when I call. You are my morning song. Though darkness fills the night, it cannot hide the light. And then right after that, we can just use that same chord progression for verse two. Hey guys, just really quickly, if you're liking today's tutorial up to this point, it would mean so much to me if you guys hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to get notification for future videos. Let's get back into the lesson for today. So then after the verse, we can go straight into the chorus. And for the chorus, we will be playing the following chord progression. It will be an A minor. <laughs> to G, to C, back to A minor, G, C, A minor, 
F G and C and we'll play that chord progression two times for the chorus the chorus will go something like this I know who goes before me I know who stands behind the God of angel armies is always by my side the one who reigns forever he is a friend of mine the God of angel armies and then after the chorus, Chris Tomlin goes back into a second verse or verses three and four. And that's the same chord progression as what we learned before with the prior verse. So no changes there. And then after that verse, the second time around, he goes into a second chorus. And that second chorus has the same chord progression as before. No changes there. So then after the chorus, we can go into the bridge. And for the bridge, we will be playing a different chord progression, which will be the following. It's going to be F to C, G, C, F to C, A minor, G, F, and then lastly to G. And we'll play that chord progression once for the bridge. The bridge would go something like this. Nothing formed against me shall stand. You hold the whole world in So then after the bridge, Chris Tomlin goes into one last course, and then that course is the same chord progression as what we learned before, no changes there. And so ultimately what we can do to conclude the song is end the song with a C major chord. And that's pretty much how we can play Whom Shall I Fear by Chris Tomlin. All right guys, so that's the lesson for Whom Shall I Fear by Chris Tomlin. If you have any questions whatsoever about today's tutorial, leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And also guys, if you have any other song recommendations or song requests that you wanna see for future tutorials, I would love to see those recommendations, leave them down below. And before you leave the video, if you haven't hit the like button yet, it would mean so much to me if you did, go ahead and hit the like button down below and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for notifications for future videos. But overall, I hope all of you guys have been doing well. Remember to keep safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.